when it comes to the way people assess risks, pipelines have a few things working against them. For one thing, there's what researchers call the dread factor. It's not whether something will cause death, it's how bad that death will be. Think shark attacks, which kill on average about six people per year globally. But it happens. A 26-year-old man was recently killed off Cape Cod, Massachusetts. It's a bad way to go. So is burning in a fiery inferno. Pipelines also have the potential to explode and kill a lot of people. So the scope of the catastrophe can add to the perception of risk. And most people didn't sign up to have a pipeline cross their property. It's often a risk that's imposed on them, which can generate more fear, even though it's actually rare for people to be hurt or killed by a pipeline explosion. But it does happen. On top of that, pipelines can leak powerful greenhouse gases that worsen climate change. However, there are clear benefits too. The gas they carry heats homes, powers factories, and generates electricity. But for example, the Mariner East project is a set of export pipelines. So a lot of Pennsylvanians are being asked to live next door to something that may not bring them benefits, but carries a risk. 